through this whole neighborhood over here. Um, this is our one of our longest runs. It's about uh, uh, 10,000 feet, I think, or so out of the pop, maybe to the end of the cable. But located right here, we have a butt splice and a Comscope B case. So we've got a 96 uh, coming in from that direction, heading back to the pop, and then we have a 96 that's going uh, this this way here. So um, <clears throat> we've got a uh, pretty pretty awesome uh, couple builds coming up. We are doing a 100. Uh, it's like a 117 unit apartment complex, um, and these are just the, the jewels or whatever you want to call these, the cup fiber optic adapters, or the coupling, that goes in the house box. <clears throat> and then, uh, ha well, house box plus um, the drops, and then these are all our uh, splitters for that. Well, not this box. Uh, this box here, straight from China, looks like. Uh, and this is... Um, you little bastard. Uh, pretty awesome because they'll make us uh, custom splitters. This is a 12, a 1 by 12. Um, so designing this out so that uh, uh, we got 1 by 12s, we have 1 by 6s, um, one, and then all the regulars, 1 by 4s and 1 by 8s. And the reason we went with that is so that we don't have to burn fibers. Uh, on the project and uh, I mean it's got some benefits but basically the unit um, one of the units it's 11 unit apartment complex so if we put in a 12 way splitter it's, it's I don't know it seems it seems like uh, the way to roll um, so there's five unit apartments there's 11 unit apartments and then uh, I don't know. I think it's just fours and some. Ooh, that's a floater, baby. Wow, uh, that's. <clears throat> so, whoa, this will be a. Look at that. That's a Comscope B, fully submerged. Um, and I built it, so. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm an asshole, so it's probably full of water. Uh, so, let's see. Um, we'll go ahead. We'll. Actually, it looks pretty pretty good so let's see what we got going on so uh, it pretty much was uh, that thing was fully submerged I mean that's it hasn't rained in a, quite a long time and that's how much water uh, we got going on here um, it seems uh, kind of aggressive to be honest I wouldn't think that the ground water level is only that deep so um, yeah, good fun. Good fun. So I think the reason it failed uh, uh, is the flat drop adapter. Uh, this has happened before. When the flat, I think it's just like with any of it, if the flat drop adapter gets installed with no flat drops, I always put it in because it saves me time later. But I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and stop doing that. Um, or was it just not tightened? Oh man, maybe that's what it was. I just didn't even tighten the damn thing down. I'm an idiot. You can't win them all. So we're gonna let this thing sit out here in the sun for a little bit. Get all dried up. Mm. Otherwise, everything's just fine. Uh, just unfortunate. So, what we'll do, we're gonna clean this thing up, we're gonna dry her out. Uh, I mean, hell, this, the wind and the sun is just gonna do that for me today. We'll get all, <clears throat> we'll get all set up here. Uh, I do have uh, about eight customers coming out of this uh, FOSC, so um, we'll go ahead I'm gonna need a ton of paper towels and a ton of rubbing alcohol. So, uh, cool. <clears throat> so, uh, 
was thinking about this a little bit and based on how much water is in this box um i just can't i can't wrap my head around that six inches down is more than the ground can take i mean i i guess we're, where we're at the earth is just sinking it's wild uh yeah so um i mean it's, nothing's wrong here uh as far as uh what we have inside i mean this is a 96 to 96 butt on a new build and we're not just splicing all the fibers for no reason because we're we don't know if we're going out on the high we, the plans always change so um every time we stand up a new pond i just come out and do one splice uh and these two splices right here are going that direction they're serving some customers and whatnot so uh, all we're doing is firing up gray today um clean this cleaned her all up with the rubbing alcohol um really not a whole lot uh going on here but um i'm gonna come back and check this next time and see what is going on and uh i might actually pump it up uh next time too so get a little bike pump <clears throat> because i don't know it's kind of not annoying uh, now but once this thing is actually being used it becomes really annoying um, so I'm gonna probably get away from doing the um, flat drops I'm not gonna put any more flat drops in unless there's a flat drop actually in I'm just gonna stop doing that uh, it saves me time but at the cost of what you know so uh, now that we're all cleaned up and dried up uh, here we're going to go ahead and we're going to take um, our gray and uh, splice them together and that's it really um, sucks about that box though but nothing really I can do about it So, um, got our splice back in here, and this is basically, I lose brown and orange way down 5,000 feet behind me. Um, green and brown are the two blocks uh, going that direction, and now Slate is the newest uh, pond that's going to be down there, and that's going to serve about uh, 20 customers, I guess, however many sign up. So. Uh, cool. I do not have my pump today, um, but I will be coming back tomorrow and pressurizing this boss and uh, see if we can't figure out what, what's failing us. But I mean, being a hundred percent submerged in water like that, I mean, I, in Salisbury, it didn't really rain uh, crazy, so I'm just weird that there's that much standing water. I'm like think about like there's a ditch right over there um so it's not really it's like even the lowest point because that ditch is way lower than what this is um the only thing i can think of is maybe the actual conduit is bringing the water to us but if as you see that's the other one and then that's the other one. it's about as flat as flat can get i don't know it just must be that's standing water here in, in Pokemon. Uh, what I just decided to do, I used a Yeti and uh, manually just got all the water out. It was actually quite a bit. Uh, but I got down to about there and then waited. And you can see the water coming back up, uh, like rising back up. So the other thing I tried to do here, if you remember, the Fosk um, collar was right here, um, and I think what what that could have been doing is the water coming in right here was just leaking, like dropping right onto the weakest part. Um, 
of the Fosk. So what my logic says is now when I pressurize this thing, I think we'll be okay. Um, we don't typically pressurize them, but for this, maybe I'll, maybe I will. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it was a combination of stop putting in the flat drop adapters with no flat drop. Um, saving time ends up hurting you. And I think it's just the high, high water level here. 